Saint Anna Wang was born in Xinkai, Hebei Province, China, in the year 1886. When she was 10 years old, she decided not to marry, but to dedicate herself to Jesus alone. During the Boxer Rebellion of 1900, it was made known that the government had banned the practice of Western religion, and that if you did not apostatize or renounce your faith, you would be killed. On July 21, 1900, the Boxer Bandits came to Ma Jia Zhuang and rounded up all the Catholics of the village of Daning and herded them into one room called the East Room. The head of the bandits told them to denounce their religion or else be killed. He continued by saying that all they had to do was to walk out of the East Room to the West Room, and someone would be there to set them free. After a while. The stepmother of Saint Anna walked to the west room, but then suddenly turned back and grabbed Saint Anna's arm and tried to pull her to the west room. Saint Anna grabbed the door frame to prevent her stepmother from dragging her. She cried out, "I want to believe in God. I want to be a Catholic. I do not want to leave the church. Jesus, help me." That night, Saint Anna led those left in the east room. The next morning, the bandits marched all the Catholics to the execution site. Saint Anna led everyone in a prayer and made an act of contrition. When they arrived, Saint Anna knelt down facing the church of the Way Village. She folded her hands and began to pray in a loud voice. The head bandit stood in front of her and told her, "Leave your church now." Saint Anna did not hear him. Since she was deep in prayer, he touched her forehead, and then Saint Anna awoke, stepped backward, and screamed, "Do not touch me!" She calmed down and said, "I am a Catholic. I will never deny God. It is better for me to die." Angry, the bandit cut off a piece of her left shoulder. He then asked her again to leave the church. She answered, "No." He then raised his axe and cut off her left arm. Saint Anna still knelt there with her right hand extended toward heaven. The door of heaven is open and whispering, "Jesus, Jesus, Jesus." She extended her neck. With that, her earthly life of 14 years ended. The faithful have venerated her ever since, and many miracles have been documented. Most miraculous. Was her family repenting and returning to the faith? Her grandmother, who once ill-treated her, became a very fervent Catholic and enjoyed a holy death. Her stepmother, who denied her faith, also returned to the church. Her father also returned to be a faithful Catholic. On April seventeenth, nineteen fifty-five, Saint Anna Wang was beatified by Pope Pius the Twelfth. And on October first, two thousand, was canonized by Pope Saint John Paul II. Saint Anna Wang, pray for us. Saint Wang Yana, we would thank you.